hair removal is a daily challenge for millions of males and females. All of us want smooth, shiny, clear skin. And for that, so many things have been used in the past for a clearer, smoother skin. Only today, a young lady with her mother walked into my chamber and the lady wanted to get a hair removal done for her hands. And the mother asked me, doctor, is it really necessary? Because when I was young, in my areas, in my colony, we friends used to remove them by pumic stone. Can you believe it? So stone friction was one of the methods of hair removal in previous times. Apart from that, let me discuss a few other methods also, which are temporary. So that includes shaving, waxing, threading, epilation, chemical epilation, and of course the stone. All of these methods are temporary because as soon as you remove the hair from the skin, the root which is actually there growing again starts growing. And depending upon the method by which you remove the hair, you can have brown patches, you can have irritation, burning, and other side effects of those hair removal methods. These are temporary and the other are permanent. There are two permanent methods. One of them is electrolysis, the other is laser hair removal. Electrolysis means every hair is picked by the metal and then every single hair is given electric current or the thermal current so that the root is destroyed. It takes a lot of time. It may take an hour to do 200 to 800 strands only. But by the advent of laser hair removal, now the hair removal has gained such ease and expertise. Why? Because laser hair removal is very much less painful, it is fast, it can take care of a larger area in a less number of time and the whole body can be done in one session. And the last thing is it is permanent. So laser hair removal can definitely help you how, why, what are the side effects, what can be the complications, where you should get it done, who should be you seeing for consultation. We will discuss all of this in today's video. My name is Dr. Preeti Saraswat. Today we'll be discussing laser hair removal and you can subscribe to our channel for various procedures. Let me discuss now how laser reduces the number of hair in a particular area. So what happens, as you may be knowing for the scalp, every hair in human body undergoes a cycle of growth. So one is anagen phase, which is the growing phase. The other three are resting phase, exogen phase and telogen phase. So these kind of phases are there and at one point of time, only 20 to 25% of hair on the body are in anagen or growing phase. Now, suppose you have a big area and you give laser in the whole of the area. But only those hairs will take laser which are in the growing or enagen phase. The rest of the hairs will not take laser. They will not take laser. They will not be destroyed. Only the enagen phase hairs will take laser and they may be fully destroyed in the procedure or if they take less of the energy, they may not be fully destroyed. But when they will grow again, they will be thinner and lighter and less in texture and blackness. So when those hairs will come in anagen phase, which were sleeping at the time of first session, then you may require the second session for those hairs. Again, as you will get different hairs in growing phase in subsequent times, you will require more and more sessions. Now, if you have this small area or you take full body into consideration, you will require a certain number of sessions. This number can vary from 4 to 12 if the patient is not having any hormonal problem or other problems which we will be discussing in a few moments from now. So the hairs will get reduced in patches initially. Gradually these patches will increase in size and you may have 70 to 90 percent of hair reduction in the specified time duration. Therefore, it is called laser hair reduction and not laser hair removal because 70 to 90 percent hair will go but the rest which will remain will be very thin light pellets like hair and you won't have any problem with those hairs they will absolutely normal if you're liking this video till now please press the like button let us quickly understand now why people can have more hair on their body so when we think about males when we consider males they can have body full of hair because of the testosterone hormone it can run in their family or a person who comes for laser hair reduction can 
experience such high growth on himself there's no problem at all this is very natural for them but in case of females if they have thick black long hair on their face which is called hirsutism then the hormonal status is needed to be taken into consideration otherwise also in those areas where normally females do not have hair if you have hair then we have to consider the PCOS or polycystic ovarian syndrome and then accordingly we will get you investigated uh, not only the blood investigation but also ultrasound and maybe we prescribe some medicines to you and then with that the laser hair removal should be done otherwise we will keep on doing laser hair removal and you will keep on getting new hair because of the hormonal stimulus inside your body the second reason why females can have more hair is genetic hereditary so you have certain families where the females really have thick black long hair on the body and usually they get very good results by laser hair removal the third important reason why a female can have hair is during the menopausal period when the female hormones are less in concentration and the male hormone that is testosterone relatively goes high this leads to thicker hairs on the face and other body areas again if they are black they'll be considered nice because we can have laser hair removal for them and before they turn white we should do the laser hair removal because then after they turn white you will have to consider electrolysis and not LHR. If you have any question regarding why hair is there or how you can be benefited by laser you can always write in the comment section below we'll be happy to write back again. So one important thing is from where you should get your laser hair removal done. You cannot get it done from anywhere from any parlor any place where somebody is telling you here we have the laser hair removal machine come we'll do your laser. No, please get a doctor consultation before you actually decide the center and the machine from which you are getting laser hair removal done. The doctor will decide which type of hair you are having. Do you need a hormonal investigation of the panel? Do you need any medication or you are fit to undergo laser hair removal with a good machine with a good therapist? And the doctor will also take care that she is with you or he is with you during your journey of laser hair removal. If you have a lot of questions in your mind regarding the side effect of laser hair removal, we have a very good video for you. Please click on the video above and in short, you will get all the possible side effects of laser hair removal. Now let us one by one take frequently asked questions regarding laser hair removal. Question number one, what is the minimum age for laser hair removal? Here I want to tell you that below the 16 years of age, any female here I would like to suggest that we are talking about females. Usually males come to us when they are adult and they want hairless body because of any specific reason whatever. So in case of females who want to get rid of body hair and facial hair, the lowest age which we keep is not less than 16 years because less than that the hormonal status is still increasing, changing and you can have hair and that is okay. So after 16 years of age we can do laser hair removal preferably after 18 years of age. Now what is the highest age of of laser hair removal highest age can be any age where the hair color is black if the hair turns into gray color it will no more have melanin and the chromophore which takes laser energy in human body is melanin so if the hair is white there is no black pigment it won't take hair another question what are the areas in which laser hair removal can be done so practically every area where you have hair laser hair removal can be done this obviously excludes the scalp area the lower frontal hairline because people have tried laser hair removal in the scalp hair but they are so robust that the results are substandard. So all the body parts where you have unwanted hair you can have laser hair removal done. It includes the ear area of the males where they have hairs. So if you have any question regarding whether or not you can undergo laser hair removal you can always call us on the numbers given below and we can guide you for that. Another very frequently asked question is doctor is it painful? So I can tell you definitely it is so less painful than threading or waxing or plucking. Usually it feels some tinkling or a snap of a rubber band. Then this is very much tolerated by the patients. By the advent of new machines with beautifully cooled tip, it's actually very less pain. We can call it virtually painless. Another question is, doctor, is it safe? So if you are at a good center with a good machine, a trained therapist and someone, some doctor to supervise your procedures, your sessions, definitely it is one of the safe 
cheapest procedures you can undergo. Is it cancerous? No, not at all. Laser is non-ionizing radiation. It has never caused cancer in any tissue, skin, hair, whatever. Another very important question is, very frequently asked doctor, is it economical? Because these charges are so much more than the threading or waxing we can undergo in the parlors. If you estimate how much money you have given to your parlors, going there every three to four weeks and then you estimate the laser charges, definitely it is much more economical and you save almost 70 years of your visit to parlors. So this is a huge amount of time you are saving and of course money you are saving. So definitely laser hair removal is one of the best gifts you can give to someone or to yourself and it is one of the best investments for yourself. You can always share and subscribe this video to your friends, families and loved ones so that they can also gain advantage and help from this video. If you wish to know how many sessions would be required for laser hair removal, please click the video on the left and if you want to know more about hair fall, you can always click the video on the right.